Continuing now with our special factor coverage, the death of Osama bin Laden. Joining us from Washington, New York Congressman Peter King, head of the House Homeland Security Committee. So, Congressman, right off the bat, tell me something I don't know. Tell us something we don't know. Well, I don't know if everyone knows this or not, but uh, you mentioned the fact that uh, we obtained information several years ago, vital information about the courier for Obama. We obtained that information through waterboarding. And uh, so for those who say that waterboarding doesn't work, to say that it should be stopped and never used again, we got vital information which uh, directly led us to bin Laden. Wow. Also, wait, wait, let me stop you there. I did not know that, and I'm sure most of my audience did not at all. Explain how that went down. How did we get that information? Where did it come from? Was it Guantanamo Bay? It came from uh, an overseas uh, prison where Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was being interrogated and uh, waterboarding was used and it was during the interrogation of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed uh, through waterboarding that this information so, was so learned. So KSM gave it up? Mohammed himself gave it up? KSM gave us the first lead, and then later on, Alibi, who also was a top aide to uh, bin Laden, he was also uh, being interrogated uh, with uh, strong interrogation measures, and he confirmed information about the courier. So, key information we got on a very, very vital that, part. That is absolutely fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. You're not going to hear that on the other networks, I guarantee you. Sure. Now, also, Bill, I can tell you, I've spoken to people who've seen the pictures of bin Laden, and I wouldn't be surprised if these are made public, because even though he was shot in the face, the wound is not not that bad, so it's not going to be scaring people off, and there's not a reason not to yeah, show it. Yeah, they'll have to so put it out there, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, because you have these crazy conspiratorialists and all of right. that. Now, um, so they, they waterboard these guys, and they get the name of, of one of bin Laden's couriers, all right? So they, they, he goes on the wanted list, and he goes on the let's find out, and they spot him in Pakistan, and then they follow him around for a couple of years, and he leads him to this compound. Now, let's, let's fast forward up to this weekend. Are you insulted that you didn't know anything about this? Because not only did President Obama not tell the Pakistani authorities, he didn't tell Congress anything about it either. Was that a good move? Yes, it was. I think uh, the less people know about these, the better. Now, I was told an hour and a half before the president went on television, I was the only members of, uh, members of Congress who was advised of that. No, Bill, because if he tells me, he has to tell others. And uh, once that's out there, I mean, you saw yesterday, last night, a very few members of Congress were informed, very small number, were informed about 60 minutes to an hour and a half before uh, the president spoke on television. That was all over television within, you know, within that first hour, it was already being leaked that it was uh, bin Laden who was killed. We were told that under strict confidence, and yet it got out. No, we can't compromise uh, uh, missions. I have no problem with this at all. Now, it's possible the Speaker knew. It's possible maybe the Chairman of the Intelligence Committee knew. But no, uh, I I'm not one of these people. My ego is not hurt. Uh, I was told before the President spoke. I'll be actually uh, with the President tonight. So, no, I... Uh, all right. I, I mean, I, and I kind of agree with you. I mean, yeah. I, I think that, that any kind of uh, news like this, and, and remember, Remember, I don't think people understand. I did this in, in, in Iraq and Afghanistan when I, when I went over there. Obama and his national security team were actually sitting in the White House watching this go, thing right. go down. They couldn't go into the compound. You can't set up those kinds of shots. But they saw the choppers right. go in and all that type of flying, so they're watching it go down. But here's something really interesting. On Saturday night, I talked to Leon Panetta, the CIA chief. Now, Panetta, I got to tell you, he was, you know, at the, at the correspondence dinner. He's having a good time. He's this and that. He's yucking it up with me. I've known him forever. Da, 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 da. These guys are the best actors of all time. Uh, the president gets up there, does a little monologue, and he's making fun of everybody. He's having a great old time. And you would never know, never know that the operation was scheduled for that day, Saturday. I mean, these guys were unbelievable actors. Yeah, well, listen, compartmentalization is very important, and this is what you have to do. I mean, you cannot, you cannot be putting your heart on your sleeve. You can't be engaging in psychobabble and letting the whole world know what agony you're going through. And that's why I think it's really wrong, whether it's Democrats or Republicans, when they go out of their way to take cheap personal shots at a president. It's, it's okay to criticize his policies, but they are going through incredible stress and strain at all times. And one small mistake, I mean, just think... If the president had made the wrong decision when he okayed this, uh, this mission, you could have had civilians killed, you could have had Navy SEALs wiped out, you could have had an oh, international disaster. Oh, it's a daring mission, very complicated Absolutely. mission. Now, you, this, your committee this week is holding hearings on Pakistan. Now, am I wrong what I just said in the Talking Points memo? I, we, those people, you can't trust those people over there. Some of them like us and help us, but, but there's no way that the president could have called the president of Pakistan and no. said, you know, we're coming in. No way on earth that could have happened. 
No, Bill Clinton did the right thing in, uh, in 1998 when he told Pakistan that he was going to fire rockets over their country to get bin Laden. And, they, and the ISI, the Pakistani Intelligence Agency, tipped off bin Laden. We can't make that mistake again. Uh, Pakistan is complicated, but you're right. The bottom line is, as a government, they cannot be trusted. There are some people you can, others you can't. But when it comes to American lives and American death, we don't have the luxury. We don't have the luxury of hoping that the person we give the information to is going to be on our sure, side. Sure, especially so, because it took the right four thing. years to track this guy into this hat. And, and, and it was 100 yards away from a Pakistani military base. We're going to get to that in a moment. All right, uh, Congressman, we appreciate your, uh, and it's really a blockbuster headline about that waterboarding stuff. Very interesting. Thank you for coming on.